white flash hit up by the uh, tank commander side and he got killed. It's very important that it be done now while their comrades, the guys who fought alongside them in World War II are still alive because the honor and the glory of it reflects on all of them. The Company C was given the mission to break through the German lines to get to an objective called Castle at Nalfi. We broke through, and when we broke through, they didn't, uh, the Germans did not know we were there. During the uh, action of breaking through the lines, we neutralized three machine gun nests, a couple of dugouts. Uh, we cut numerous communication lines. In May 1996, the Pentagon forwards the names of seven soldiers to the White House, recommending them for the Medal of Honor for their heroic actions in World War II. There were a million two hundred thousand black Americans in uniform in World War II, and this is an important symbolic act. But I don't think there's any way at this in this day and time that you can adequately recognize all that they contributed and all that was denied them in terms of medals and honors and promotions these sort of things uh, there's there's no way that you can balance the books entirely at this remove we're half a century down the road all you can do is this symbolic act and give to them some glory some honor uh, they earned that and and it's long overdue if you serve your country you deserve to be served it, it really makes me feel sad that we we did our job and fought but we weren't appreciated The African-American veterans of World War II served a nation that was not yet ready to serve them. With their double V symbol, they fought against both fascism and racism. They were determined to prove to their fellow Americans that they were their equals on the battlefield and were entitled to be their equals at home. We should all be proud of the sacrifices they made on the snow-covered fields of Belgium, in the skies over Europe, and on the bloody beaches of Iwo Jima. They wrote a noble chapter in American military history. Their legacy made my rise in the military possible. I stood on their shoulders. They made America a better place for all of us. They asked for no special recognition. They asked for no tribute. They just wanted to fight for their beloved country, and they did. We owe them our thanks. We must continue to carry on their legacy of commitment and courage. First Lieutenant Vernon Baker, 92nd Infantry Division. First Lieutenant John Fox, 92nd Infantry Division. First Lieutenant Charles L. Thomas, 614th.